Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now when it comes to viewing back animation inside of Blender, it can be a little bit slow, it can be a little bit tedious, it's probably not the best workflow. Now, there is a solution to this and it's called DJV. Now if you've never heard of this, this is perfect for viewing back image sequences, especially if you're doing something like an EXR format. Now if you've ever worked with EXR, you can know how much of a pain in the ass it can be. DJV essentially gives you more options. You can do colour management, you can change the frame rate, you can actually scrub the timeline as well. Now the internal playback of Blender, it doesn't have these options. And the great thing about this is, it's open source, it's available for free, and it's supported natively inside of Blender. And I'll show you how to set this up. So just for working example, what I've done here is I've went to view and I've rendered the animation so I have this play blast. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to preferences and I'm going to come down here on the left hand side to file paths and I'll come down to applications, let me just make this a bit bigger and you can see here inside of my animation player I have a whole bunch of options actually I have frame cycler, I have RV, I have end player, end player is okay as well but the best I find is DJV and I'll quickly show you the website just to give you a kind of point of reference. All you need to do is go to download, install it in the default location that is generally program files. I think if you mess about with the path, it can kind of trip Blender up. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to rock and roll. Set it to DJV. We're cool. Now I want to show you the difference between DJV and internal. So I'll switch this back to the internal. I'll go to render and I'll view the animation. Now on first load it's pretty slow to be honest, it's caching all the files. Once it's cached it gets a little bit faster, but you'll notice that we don't have as much control, especially when it comes to EXR format. We don't have anything like a timeline, we don't have a colour dropper or anything like that. So DJV, it's, it's pretty much the go-to, most people that I know use it in the industry. So just to quickly go over this again, if you go to edit, you can go to preferences, go to file paths, Come down to applications and change the animation player to whatever one you use, DJV in my case. Also while I'm here, you'll notice that we have an image editor. You can actually set the path up to be something like Photoshop. So when you view your render, it'll automatically kind of sync it to Photoshop. Little tool. So again, I'll just run over this one more time. Go to render, I'll view the animation. And then we can play the animation, it's pretty cool. And we'll have a whole bunch of settings here. You can view different layers as well, so if you have like an alpha image, you can change the RGB, stuff like this. Really good at doing colour management, I'll actually link a tutorial from Lewis in the description down below so you can check it out. But yeah, that's pretty much DJV. Anyway, you know what to do, like the video, all that jazz, take it easy.